Today we're making a teacup candle. We're using an old vintage teacup and then we're using a beeswax candle to melt and put into it. Hi, I'm Linda with Life on Summer Hill and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. So let's get started making a precious teacup candle. To begin, let's gather these supplies, a pot, glass bowl, teacup, two taper candles, a wick, paper plate, jumbo popsicle stick, hot pads, and a glue gun. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is bring it to a, a low rolling bowl. So I bring it down close to low, but not at the low point. And then you wanna sit your glass bowl into the water and let it start heating up. And then while that's heating up, we're going to um, break these candles into thirds. So when you break your candles, you're gonna need some scissors to cut the wick inside of the candle. Now our candle is a beeswax candle. Um, we wanted to go all natural. And I have another a blog post on my website that talks about using all natural materials and candles and how that's a cleaner burning candle. So next we're just going to watch as this melts inside of this glass container. As it melts, your wick will come out of the candle. And then all I do is just pick it up with my um, stick and I place it on a paper plate or something that I can just throw away. So you just keep stirring your wax until all of it's completely melted. And then once this is melted, we're gonna add the other tapered candle into the wax and melt it too. You're gonna need two taper candles uh, to fill up a teacup. Okay, so for the next step, we need to cut the wick um, either level with the cup or just below because you only want an eighth of an inch of the wick above the wax. So I'm gonna mark with my finger the top of the cup like this, and then I'm going to cut it right here. Now, the next step is you're going to slide your wick down into this frame. And then just make sure, like right now it's crooked, make sure it's nice and straight. So you wanna look at it and make sure it's nice and straight. Next, add some hot glue to the bottom of the wick frame and then place it exactly in the center on the bottom of the cup. So you make sure it's right in the very center and then also check your wick and make sure it's straight up. And mine still looks a little crooked, so I'm going to adjust it a tiny bit more. So now it looks nice and straight. Okay, so this is ready, so we're going to go back over here and keep stirring our wax and remove the rest of the um, wicks that are in here. So we'll keep stirring this until it's completely melted. Okay, so put on some mittens because you really want to keep your hands safe. And then we're going to pick up the wax, like so, and bring it over to the cutting board and to start to pour it into the cup. And you wanna keep pouring it until it gets close to the top, but not all the way to the top. So that's a perfect, a perfect amount for this tiny little cup. Okay, so at this point, you need to let it sit. Do not touch it. Don't move the cutting board. You don't wanna bump it. And you're gonna let it cool for over four hours. Even if it looks like it's ready to be touched, it can still be liquid in the middle and it will cave in. 
So do not touch it, let it dry. If you have an overnight situation, I would even just leave it all night until the morning. So we're gonna keep checking back and seeing how it looks. Okay, so at this point we are about 45 minutes drive time. And you can tell like the, if you look at it, you can see down in here how it's modeled and that means it's not dry. So I'm just gonna keep letting it dry for four hours and then we're gonna check it and see if it's ready. Okay, so I waited overnight to let it dry and it's all ready to style. So we're gonna place it over here on my little table and we'll light it. So what do you think? Did you enjoy this DIY? It's so simple. I procrastinated for days and I promise you, you do not have to procrastinate. So here's a few fun ways you can decorate with your precious little teacup candle. You can place it on an end table as a part of your other accessories. Another great thing you can do with it is you can give it as a gift. And what a wonderful time to give a gift to a friend or to a loved one here at Valentine's Day. So this would make such a precious gift idea. And then last, you can sit this a part of each place setting at a dinner table party. What a great gift that each person who comes to your party gets to take home. So again, I wanna thank you for joining me here on Life on Summer Hill. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.